Uh, good morning. Good morning. My name is Pradeek Guru, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Wildfire. Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Vinay Ramesh, and I'm the uh, business lead and co-founder of Wildfire. So Wildfire is a new app that crowdsources and spreads safety alerts in real time. But first I want to tell you about a few stories. So last year when the terrorist attacks occurred in Paris, there was a soccer stadium full of thousands of fans who heard loud explosions all around them, but they were completely unaware of what was happening until four hours later. So this leads to a bigger problem that there aren't effective nor um, efficient ways of spreading safety related inf information to nearby residents when a dangerous situation occurs near them. And this doesn't just happen in extreme situations or on the national level, but this happens every day at a, on a local level. Typically people rely on existing services such as Facebook or Twitter or social networks to both hear about and spread safety related information. Last semester at UC Berkeley, I was almost mugged on campus. I went home and I posted a status about this on Facebook. It reached well over 600 students, but there were 30,000 other students that night who didn't know what occurred, who had to walk past that same path. And so that leads to one of the biggest problems with social networks is you're kind of limited by your friends and your followers. The second is if you use apps such as Twitter, you actually have to be online on the app scrolling through your newsfeed to view safety related information. And as you can see here, it's typically mixed among other, um, other non-related safety tweets. There's existing services today that try to solve this problem. Uh, they can typically be split up into two categories um, with mobile panic buttons and peer-to-peer -peer safety apps. Mobile panic buttons typically allow you to press a button which alerts the police. Um, if you're in a dangerous situation. And peer-to-peer -peer apps essentially let you um, communicate with your family and your loved ones to let them know that you got home safe. But there's nothing out there today that solves that problem of informing you immediately when something happens nearby. So we set out to build that. So we built Wildfire, which does essentially that. It allows you to hear and receive safety alerts in real time, inform your uh, local community if something happens, and also view incidents um, and before you walk home late at night. Well, let's take an example and see how this could actually be used. So say I had a roommate named Ken. Ken's walking home late one night and he witnesses an armed robbery near campus. Ken, Ken can now go into a wildfire and post an alert. When he posts an alert, several things happen. The first is his emergency contacts, his parents, his roommates, his loved ones meet. We get a text message, we don't even need the app downloaded. So now before I walk home that night, I know what has happened. The second thing is other wildfire users in the nearby area get a push notification. So if there's another student walking home that night, she doesn't have to be friends with Kent, she doesn't need to know Kent, but because Kent witnessed that and posted it, she's now informed of what just happened. The last thing is anyone walking home that night can view a map or a feed view of incidents that have happened around them to help get home safe. Really what makes Wildfire different than existing safety apps is we do three things. The first thing we do is we crowdsource information from news stations, police organizations, social media, um, the second thing is we make this a social experience where users can inquire further, ask questions if incidents happen near them. And the last thing is we're informing you in real time when something happens nearby. What we did is we released a beta of this app at UC Berkeley last semester. Within the span of a few weeks, we went from zero to thousands of users because every time we sent out an alert, we were averaging 20 new downloads. We really haven't done any marketing on campus and this is purely word of mouth growth. And what we realized is by utilizing key partnerships with campus police, student government, and campus newspaper, we can essentially go into a college campus and get an initial user base and spread from there. We don't plan on just using this at UC Berkeley, but we plan on doing this at college campuses across the country. And so we've already had colleges from UCLA to colleges on the East Coast express interest in bringing wildfire to their campuses. And what we notice is once we get a college campus, it's really easy to spread to the nearby city, and we already have people in Oakland and SF using wildfire. So we're Wildfire, the crowdsource safety app, and we're here looking for connect connections for potential partners in SF and Oakland, and also help with user acquisition in those areas. Thank you.